Color correction and grading has been vastly improved in Final Cut Pro 10.4 with a completely new UI and support for high dynamic range workflows. That's right, Steve. With an entirely new set of color correction tools, workflow enhancements, improved LUT support, and HDR capabilities, you'll have more control of your footage than ever before. So let's begin by looking at Final Cut Pro 10's new color wheels. Final Cut Pro 10.4 introduces significant new color correction tools and enhancements. These next three movies will cover them all. In this episode, I'll discuss two of them, using auto white balance sampling and working with color wheels. Here we have a shot that has a blue color cast. If I go to the Enhancements menu, I can select the Balance Color effect, which automatically adjusts both color and contrast, as we can see in the Vector Scope and the RGB Parade. Now that's not new, but if I go to the Inspector, there's a new method parameter that lets me choose between Automatic and White Balance. If I select White Balance, I can use the sampler to click on something in the shot that should be white to balance the colors. I can then switch between the two methods to see which I prefer and toggle the final result off and on by clicking the checkbox. This next shot is low in saturation and has limited dynamic range. In the Video Inspector, I'll click the new Color Inspector icon. The color board appears by default. The color board works the same as it has in earlier versions of Final Cut Pro 10, but if I click on No Corrections here, a menu appears that includes three additional correction types. Let's select Color Wheels. There are four wheels, a master wheel, then one for shadows, midtones, and highlights. Each wheel lets you control hue, saturation, and brightness. Let's start with the shadows wheel and bring down the brightness of the shadows by dragging down on the right wing of the wheel. Then I'll bring up the highlight brightness to expand the dynamic range and tweak the shadows. Then I'll increase the overall saturation by dragging up on the left wing of the master wheel. The shot has a blue cyan cast to it, so I'll push the puck in the master wheel away from blue cyan to remove it, keeping an eye on the RGB parade. Notice how the wing changes color to indicate the color I'm adding. And very quickly, we have a nicely graded shot. I'll toggle the correction off and on by clicking this checkbox. In addition to the wheels, the color wheel's correction has some additional powerful controls. With this shot, I've already used the balance color effect to remove the color cast. I'll add a color wheel's correction to bring the brightness down in the shadows. And I'd like to bring just the blue channel down further so that the RGB parade matches in the shadows, but it's a little tricky to do that with the shadows wheel. So instead, I'll undo that, go to Shadows below, and click Show. Here, I can manipulate each color channel independently. So I'll just pull a little blue from the shadows in order to match the waveforms. I also have controls for temperature. So I can quickly warm the shot up or cool it down. I can see in the vector scope that my skin tones are slightly off, so I can use the hue control to quickly rotate them back onto the skin tone line. Let's toggle that correction off and on. You can combine color wheels with color and shape masks. In this shot, I've already used the color wheels correction to perform an overall correction for contrast and color, but I'd now like to increase the saturation of just the greens on the pizza without affecting the saturation of anything else in the shot. So I'll add a second color wheels correction. Then I'll click here to select a color mask. And I'll drag on the shot to sample the greens. If I now increase saturation in the master wheel, only the selected colors are affected. The color mask is added to the bottom of the color inspector, where I can view the mask and adjust the softness. Let's toggle that correction off and on. To learn more about how to use these powerful new features, check out our advanced color correcting in Final Cut Pro 10.4 tutorial at rippletraining.com.